Hello lovely people, you are all warmly welcome back to VBest Kitchen and I believe you are doing great. Thanks for returning. Today I want to share with you how I make my spice, ginger and tamarind juice which is perfect for this cold weather. You will love this recipe. It's so simple, very nutritious and healthy. So stay tuned and be inspired. Please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video and as always, your girl will appreciate it. Don't forget to also join this family by subscribing and you will love more of my recipes. Lovelies, without further ado, let's begin. So first of all, these are my ingredients. I've got ginger, I've got mint leaves, I've got lemon and lime, I've got my tamarind, the soft one, and I've got my um, cardamom pulse, the green one, I've got cloves, I've got um, green of psyllium, I've got black peppercorns, I've got cinnamon powder and my chili peppers. I've also got honey. So I'm going to wash the ingredients that needs to be washed properly right now and then guys you'll start making our juice. Okay next let's proceed to unwrap our tamarind just like so and tamarind is very beneficial to our body as a whole because it prevents diabetes, it boosts the immune system, it gives a healthy skin. Tamarind juice cures bleeding piles. Tamarind juice is anti-cancer and it also has anti-venom properties. And it has so many more benefits. Right now, let's put the tamarind in a cup like this or in a container at all. Add hot water, but not too hot because you're going to use your hand to mash it to separate the shells from the fruit itself okay because the water is too hot i'm using my wooden spoon to mash it but once it cools off i will then use my clean hand to mash it properly now let's set it on the side and focus on the next stage where i'm going to cut the lemon and lime into halves and squeeze out their juices okay i'm using half of each because i do not want too much of the lemon or lime in my juice okay but you can just feel free to use the whole of the lime or lemon okay and that is by choice and preference i'm done squeezing out the juice so i'll set it on the side and blend my spice ingredients okay into the blender they go yeah beautiful just add them and blend them until they are all nice and smooth okay for easy blending, I added a little bit of water, okay? So very soon, we are going to be done blending. So yeah, we are all done now. I will set it on the side again, and then we we'll focus on the next stage, all right? So I'm back again with the tamarind. I'm going to use my hand this time around to mash it properly, and I'll separate the shell from the fruits, okay? So soon I'm all done, I've mashed it properly, so I'm going to transfer it into a bowl, but before that, I'll transfer my blended um, spice ingredients first into the bowl, and then I'll just add my mashed tamarind, just like so. This way, I'll properly separate the fruits from the shells, okay? Yeah. Let I forget lovely, the tamarind has a tingly sensation. So in order not to experience that, you can just divide your tamarind into four and use just one quarter of it. Or just divide them into ten and use just one tenth of it. It's all my choice and preference. However, if you don't mind, you can just use all and you will be good. Okay, so now I'm all done separating the shells from the fruit and i'm going ahead to add the other ingredients and i've got cinnamon powder it's there gently to mix everything together nicely and beautifully this smells so good already mm, mamma mia so next i'm adding my honey you can as well use sugar but between the white and brown sugar i'll just recommend you use the brown sugar okay so now i'm adding my lemon and lime juice next i'm adding my vanilla extract for flavor again you will start to mix everything together until well incorporated 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now this smells so good. Amazing. So next, I'm going to transfer the juice into the strainer again to separate more of the pulp from the juice, okay? And lovely, so far, if you are enjoying the video, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share for others to see. Don't forget to comment constructively, okay? And if it's your first time here, you are warmly welcome. And I would love to have you here. So please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Click on the bell button as well to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos, okay? And I'm so sure you will love it here. So we are all done separating the pulp from the juice. And I'm going to head to stir again to see if there is any more pulp in it. And so far, so good. We have just a little, or should I say none. So the next thing is to transfer everything into your clean jar. Keep it in your fridge and drink some in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. But make sure you always warm it whenever you are going to drink some in this cold season that we are in. And this will help treat the cold very fast. Okay? Lovely. This is the end of our video and I hope you've been inspired. Please, for more of my videos, follow me on Instagram. Like and follow my Facebook page. Follow me as well on TikTok and Twitter for more updates. And now to all my subscribers and followers, God bless you for the love and support. You always show your girl. I appreciate you all. And I can't thank you enough. Thank you all for watching to this point. I'm really, really grateful. Kiss. Bye, y'all. Hello, lovelies. Can you subscribe to, to my mom's channel and help her get to 20K subscribers? Thank you.